sitting at a table for three when I walked in through the door. So the second song off of this album is called Spell On Me. And uh, where it originated from, it was originally another song that I couldn't quite figure out how I wanted it to end. In my head, it was like this uh, fast, acoustic, uh, Ed Sheeran kind of sounding song, which is ironic because that's not at all how it sounds now. But I could never finish that song. And for years, I kind of just, you know, had it hidden away. Um, didn't really know exactly what direction I wanted to go with it. And then when uh, we were working on this album, uh, I decided to pull it out and kind of see what we could do with it in the studio and it just wasn't coming together. So uh, the concept of, you know, like a, like a love spell or, you know, like someone putting a spell on somebody else, it actually came from an episode of Freaks and Geeks, the short lived show. There's a scene where um, they're talking about uh, Fleetwood Mac and how um, Stevie Nicks had put a love spell on Lindsey Buckingham. You can hear it in the songs they made, which I, I thought that was really intriguing to me. And so I kind of kept that concept uh, hidden away uh, and it just, you know, maybe save it for later. And then in the studio, when this one song wasn't working out, I thought, oh, this would be really cool to kind of incorporate this idea in. So in an interesting uh, scenario, which I hadn't done before, is I actually kind of wrote the song on the spot in the middle of the session. and. Um, from that we were able to get Spell on Me. I decided to kick up everything, you know, instead of an acoustic guitar, uh, you know, plug it in, make it a really heavily distorted uh, guitar. Um, instead of having it really fast paced, the strumming, slow it down and uh, see, you know, if we could get this, you know, really heavy feel to it. And to me, it's almost like, you know, it's kind of like Chris Stapleton in a sense. Like it sounds like something that, you know, someone will be blasting from their garage and, uh, I like the, I, I think that the guitar solo and everything we were able to do uh, with it in the mix was, was solid. And um, as, as far as the ending goes, it, you notice that it, there really is no ending. You know, it's, it, you kind of get to it and you're like, what happened? You know, what was, what was the ending, you know, of the story after, you know, guy meets girl in a, in a bar, or it could be a restaurant, it could be anywhere. You know, it never really resolves itself. It kind of uh, just leaves you to wonder, you know, what, what happened? You know, what was the what was the outcome here? I think this woman put a spell on me. Thank you for watching. My second album, After the Apocalypse, is available everywhere.